Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trailer Talk. We have some big, exciting trailers. E3 is very, very soon. Almost a week away, a week and a half away. We're going to be there. Some of these games are going to be there. I'm super excited. And uh, let's get started. As usual, if you like Trailer Talk, please thumbs up. Please try to spread the word. Please leave a comment below. Let's talk about these games. I want to hear what you have to think. Uh, and if you have any recommendations for trailers you would like to see me play in a future, uh, talk about in a future episode, please leave that in the comments as well. Uh, let's get started. Yeah, we got a big one. Peggy, eighteen. So this first trailer is for a game that I know people are very excited about. Um, I'm pretty excited. Just because I think Bethesda makes really great RPGs. And you know what? Fallout's pretty good. I'm more of an Elder Scrolls man. Because I like kind of, you know, outdoorsy environments and, and, and skill trees and stuff. But, you know, these Fallout games are pretty damn good too. I think I don't gravitate as much to the post-apocalyptic setting as much as other people. But this stuff is cool. These little flashbacks of the 1950s for us fucked up because you get to see cool robots and shit like when they were not all fucked up they're still creepy because jesus christ what is that thing um but uh i don't know there's a dog you don't play as a dog but there is a dog is that dog meat i don't know I and mean, he was in the other fallout games um but yeah this one takes place in boston there's a dog and it's a Fallout game. We don't really know that much else, or you can't... I guess... We're going to find out at D3. You know, Bethesda's holding a press conference. I'm, I'm sure they're going to talk about this game. There's rumors that it's coming out this year, believe it or not, which is crazy. But, um... Other than that, it kind of looks like a Fallout game. They're probably going to use some new tech or do some things to make it look nice. Um... But, I don't know. Everyone's excited because it's more Fallout, and everyone likes Fallout 3 and New Vegas and the originals. And it's been a while since there's been a Fallout game, but we're kind of seeing Fallout here. I I'm curious as to what they're going to bring to the table that's new in terms of mechanics or structure. Is there going to be vehicles this time? Are we going to be able to actually pilot the flying vehicle? How fucking cool would that be? Maybe that's too much to ask for, but... I don't know. I don't know. I I like these games when I start them, but you know, 50 hours in, I find myself in like a three, four floor like building, and I, I I'm exploring it, and I get a little weary, you know. There, there's not. I feel like there's not much exciting about a you know your 18th bombed out you know Let's fucked up now. you know multi-story building as you're exploring, and as opposed to like a cool you know. The fa a fantasy setting can do a lot more than a Fallout game, but maybe they'll surprise. It's more colorful this time around. But um, let me know what you think. W what's your favorite Fallout game? We're going to be playing Fallout games actually this month. Our subscriber of the month uh, chose Fallout because he knew this was probably going to be a D3. And it's going to be. Uh, also, do you prefer Fallout or Elder Scrolls and why? Let's talk about this below. Let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just like the outdoors. Maybe, maybe the idea of exploring a cave is cooler than exploring um, a building. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think? I'm going to take a sip of my soda pop. Uh, what do we got next? <sighs> what do we have next? All right, let me skip. Oh, there we go. Um, this... Oh, yeah, this is the cinematic trailer history, for Rise of the Tomb Raider. <sighs> well, I mean, it's... That Tomb Raider that came out a couple years ago, I enjoyed it. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a long-time old-school Tomb Raider fan, and I really don't think these, this new Tomb Raider game is anything like those games. It's kind of like an Uncharted game. It's a third-person shooter, a little more exploration heavy than an Uncharted game, but I like Uncharted, and I liked that game. Um, hopefully there's more puzzles and tombs this time around. Uh, maybe more of an emphasis on platforming. That's challenging. She's got her trusty pickaxe back, or two of them. 
He's climbing in. Um, I don't know. I mean, the environment seems to be pretty different, but it looks like the basic premise of of uh, you know. I don't, I don't even know what to say, guys. It, it looks a lot like that last game. I would like them to tell me some things at this E3 that will surprise me. Things I wasn't expecting. Um, show me some fucking real honest to goodness exploration, puzzle solving, some old school tombs, um, old school like crazy ancient puzzles. And another thing. And another thing. What's with the whole, like, survival, you know, thing with the pickaxes and the rise of the Tomb Raider? Didn't she already rise in the last one? She got her dual pistols. Isn't she, shouldn't she be, like, like, you know, dual pistol wielding, super confident, badass Lara Croft this time around? She's already risen. I don't know. I'm weird. But I'm going to play this game. Because, like I said, I like that last one. I don't know if I'm gonna play it on. I don't know if I'll have an Xbox One by the time this comes out. This is coming out this year, right? Hmm. Anyways, uh, I might have to play it on uh, Xbox 360 or PC or something, or maybe I'll have an Xbone by then. <laughs> this is another surprise. I wasn't expecting this. This is coming out this year. All these are coming out this year. It's crazy. Um, I knew there was probably going to be a follow-up to this. Let me turn this one up a little bit. I knew there was probably going to be a follow-up to this game because that first one, uh, that last one, I should say, was fairly successful, from what I understand. And so was the expansion. I was hoping this would have some underwater stuff, like Terror from the Deep, but this is uh, XCOM 2, they're calling it, which is the sequel to Enemy uh, Unknown and Enemy Within. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's more XCOM, and I fucking loved XCOM Enemy Unknown, like, a lot, like, a lot. Um, it was one of the more addictive games I played of this generation, or past generation, or whatever you want to call it. One of my favorites. And just seeing this gets me fucking excited. Uh, the big news is that this is PC exclusive, they're saying? For Axis, you know, they usually make Civ games, which are all, always PC only. Um, which has upset a lot of people. Here we go, we got snake people! Yeah! New aliens and shit! Oh, fucking XCOM! Ah. Uh, but, um, I guess they, these games didn't sell all that well on consoles. But, uh, I don't know. I'll play it on PC. Look at this shit. Ah, oh, man, fuck Chrysalis! We got snakes! Grenade launchers, nice, nice. Swords, look at that fucking sword. Look, look, just fucking sword. What is that creepy alien doing? I, I just want to see all these new alien types. So in this one, you're like attacking, like an, like an, like you're on the offensive. You have like a mobile, mobile base. You have swords, and uh, apparently there's gonna be a lot of like procedurally generated maps and stuff. So you're not gonna see like repeated areas like you were last time around, which is good because I got really tired of you know sneaking up on a fucking crash ship in a forest. But uh, oh, love me some XCOM, man. Can't wait. It's coming out in November. Oh, oh. oh man, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? I don't know. I, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be 83. Can't wait to try it. Swords. XCOM 2. It's a weird name. This is, this is a reason is a weird game. Weird name. Not only is this the second XCOM, but uh, Enemy Unknown was called XCOM Enemy Unknown, and there was an expansion called Enemy Within. That wasn't the first XCOM. Um, it wasn't even called just XCOM. In fact, there was a game. Do you remember the Bureau XCOM Declassified? That was originally launched as XCOM. That weird shooter. That wasn't all that great. That was called just XCOM. This is this whole series has weird name naming conventions, but um, yeah, mm, XCOM too. November. Maybe it'll eventually come to consoles, but maybe it'll be like not officially XCOM two. Maybe it'll be like 
All right, before we watch this next one, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to show it just because it's silly. I don't take this stuff too seriously. I hope you don't either. But it's just so insane I could not put it in here. And it just goes well with the other games that I showed off. You know, big AAA blockbusters coming out this fall. Yeah. Uh, it just fits right in there. It just fits right in there. Um, this is a game, I gotta be honest, I don't know much about it, it's probably coming to Vita, my guess, given the way this game looks. Um, it's an anime inspired, this, maybe it's a classic JRPG. Let's just watch, let's just watch and react. Um... My guess is Nolan's probably going to be broad. Yo, you can, you know, it's a stealth game. You sneak around, taking pictures, kind of look like Beyond Good and Evil 2. I mean, Beyond Good and Evil. And Beyond Good and Evil 2, are we going to get that for E3 this year? She doesn't seem happy. She seems amped. All these different, oh, why, ooh, there's the prone position. What is he doing? Oh, it's like Metal Gear Solid 4. You can roll around. What is he doing, though? I don't understand. He's the school photographer. Trying to get them low angles, you know. Um, you can bike around with your with your lady friend. Ooh, it's creepy. Walking. Wait, hold on. I'm just gonna play. It's interesting. Interesting uh, grapple mechanics. How's he getting these crazy shots? I don't think he's supposed to do that. So, I guess your objective is to trip them, and as they're slow-mo falling, take your picture, or as you're sliding. Kind of like Metal Gear Rising, instead of cutting them in half as you're sliding along the ground, you're doing horrible things. Who's this? I don't know. Is he the villain? Perverted pedophile is probably the villain of this game, right? I don't know. I think the villain, uh, the perverted pedophile that's the villain of the game is the person who buys it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm even showing this. Well, this is why. Because it looks fun. Did I mention that I apologize? Udders? What? What's going on there? It's like that game Africa. Except you're taking pictures of all of God's creatures. Not just zebras. What is going on? Who's singing? Doesn't sound like the dude. What is she about to do? Oh my gosh, she's about to knock him in the nuts. <laughs> He's just sneaking away from the police. They're running from the ladies. I don't know even what this game is called. I don't care. It's called, um... It's coming out today? Soon? It uh, just came out. <laughs> um, it's coming to PS4 and PS3. I don't know if we're going to be able to stream this on Twitch, but there is DLC. Anyways, that's it for Trailer Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do something. Let's see a gesture. Show me how much you care about Trailer Talk, and maybe I'll remember to do it more often, or I'll care to do it more often. I, I have weird... I'm a weird person, okay, guys? So, like, if I, if I don't do something for a while, it's harder for me to do it. I don't know what you call that. Some sort of, like, anxiety thing. I do want to do these more often, but, you know, prove it to me that you really care, because it's not like this gets as many views as some random clip. But, uh, anyways, thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk. Please, let's talk about these games below, and uh, maybe send me a tweet about some trailer you would like me to talk about in a future episode. This thing's going along. I need to end it. Y'all have a good day. And, uh, yes, goodbye.